So today I will be showing you how I do my natural 15 minute makeup look. I usually don't do this on an everyday basis. Since I like more natural makeup, this is something I'd wear to any nice event or special occasion. If you wanna see how I got this look, then just keep watching. So after I wash my face, I always go in with my favorite moisturizer, the Clinique Moisture Surge. And then I go in with a primer. Right now I'm using the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. I ran out of the full size, so I'm just using a trial size. I just put a good amount on my fingertips. I have a mirror right here, so I'm gonna be using that. I honestly don't really see much of a difference with primers, but I use them anyway because supposedly they fill your pores and make everything look more set in. Okay, put my hair back. While I let this set in, I already have my beauty blender wet. I will say, something I always make sure to do is wash my beauty blender after every use because I just don't like it when it has all the foundation and concealer just like sitting on it. I feel like it gets gross. So I always use this Sephora mini brush cleaner. I just get it wet and then scrub it along this and then rinse it out. So that's clean and ready for my next use. So now I will be going in with the CC cream. I used to get the Sephora Play boxes and they have like a little mini sample for it. The one thing that I'm not a fan of this product is it says it's fair and it's like the lightest color, but it is way darker than that. You may read that on the reviews that it says it looks orange, but this is more like my summer shade and I think I'm in my normal summer shade right now, but it's really cool. It's It comes out white and then you mix it around I, I just apply with my fingers because um, I feel like that's like the most natural way to do it. Um, but then you put it on and it darkens, which is really cool. I think it's like some kind of Korean skincare, which I've never really gotten into that whole trend. But this is really nice because it's not super cakey and it just really goes into your skin very nicely. Another thing that I am not too big of a fan of this product is it does get kind of shiny fast. I do have more combination oily skin, so I can see kind of why for me it'd be a problem, but if you have really dry skin, I think this is perfect. I've tried the It Cosmetics CC Cream and the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer, but I feel like I like this one the best because it doesn't even look like you're wearing makeup. So after I have that on, I will go in with the concealer. It doesn't really cover much of your blemishes so you always have to make sure to cover it up with concealer if you if you want to so what i do is i use kylie jenner concealer in the shade ivory and i do that under my eyes this is like my favorite concealer ever but it does kind of have a peachy undertone so i just use it under my eyes and i blend that in with my beauty blender I'm just really press it under the eyes, get right up next to the lower lash line, and then I kind of use the extra to prime my eyelids for my eyeshadow. Do that, I'll do the other eye. So then, this is when I'm going and spot conceal. For this, I use the NARS Creamy Concealer in the shade. I have vanilla for when I am pale, and then I use custard when I'm tan. So then I kind of just dot it where I think I need it. And I blend that out. And sometimes if I feel like it, I'll just kind of go over all the makeup with my beauty blender just to make sure that everything is set in. So that looks pretty good. It's not always perfect, like you can still kind of see something. Sometimes I'll do like a second layer, like I'll probably do another little dot here. It isn't completely foolproof flawless this is not a full coverage makeup routine so you might still see some blemishes but I feel like it's the most natural looking and it's better than looking like a cake face 
So now what I'll do is I'll go with my Laura Mercier translucent powder and I kind of, I don't really bake under my eyes, but I just press in the powder right under there till there's like, you can't see that there's any powder baking under there. Now on my eyelids, under the other eye. And sometimes if I feel like it, since I usually get oily around my chin, around my nose, my forehead. And then I go for the rest of my face, I take my big powder face brush, swirl it around. Okay, so now that I've done that, <laughs> I go in with my new favorite all over face palette. I use this pretty much for the rest of my routine. I'm more of like a minimalist and I like just having like a few makeup products I can just use for a lot of things and it's good for travel. So I go in with the top middle shade from my bronzer. I just kind of pat it, tap off the excess. And then I will go my cheekbone. And yes, I use this face brush for pretty much everything. I don't like to have a bunch of brushes up to keep track of and clean. I feel like I don't do makeup very often. If I'm going somewhere and I just need something quick, I'll just do a little bit of concealer, powder, and mascara. But for more like formal events, obviously, I'll do this. Usually it only takes me about 15 minutes. If I'm quick, I can do in 10, because I think I've got this routine down. And if I have excess, I'll just do it on the sides of my nose. So next, I will be going in, these are both sparkly blush shades, which usually I'm not into sparkly blush, but depending on the day, I'll just choose between the two. I'll be doing this one today. And then I'll just press on that, tap off the excess, and just do it right on the cheekbones. And just a little on my nose if I feel like it. So now it's time for highlighter. And I'll be using the shade Starlight. This is my Morphe M501 brush. My friend convinced me to buy I used a fan brush for my highlight for pretty much all my life, but I think I prefer a brush. I just kind of swirl it off my cheekbones, a little bit on my forehead. And then I take it down the bridge of my nose. Well, I don't do all the way down my nose. I do my nose and then I do this little bridge right here. And my cupid's bow. And then my eyebrows. So the face is pretty much done. Next, I will comb out my eyebrows. And I'm with my Anastasia Brow Wiz and Taupe. I usually just brush them through, comb them up. I don't use any brow gel. I feel like I kind of like my eyebrows just kind of whatever. I really don't even use much of this. The inside of my eyebrow is darker and the tail is lighter. And I feel like it should be the opposite, but I usually just take a couple strokes on the tail of each eyebrow. In this part here, there's hair missing. Like it, my eyebrows are obviously not symmetrical. So I usually just do like a dark, heavy line right there so it kind of matches a little bit more and then I do the same thing and just fill in the tail a little bit. You can't really notice that much of a difference but I don't really like my eyebrows super dark. Next I will be doing my eyes and like everybody else I just do a little bit of bronzer in my crease. So I'll take that same shade that I use for my bronzer and I just do it in the crease of my eye and just go back and forth until I get the color I want. You probably can't even really see much of a difference, but it just gives a little bit of definition to the eye. And then I love doing shimmer on my lid. So I'll take my highlighter shade and I'll just use it on my finger, like it's the most effective and just like packing it on your eye. And then I just press it in. And then I usually take the same brush. Sometimes I'll dip back into more bronzer and then I'll just kind of blend the two together and go a little bit under my eyes so that it all connects. Like that. And then probably my favorite part about doing a full face of makeup is my inner core highlight. I don't like doing it, but I love the look of it. So I just take a little bit of that same starlight and 
press it into the corner of my eye. See, it just like adds so much brightness and opens your eyes a little bit. So now we're done with this palette. I also always take this through my eyeshadow brush and do it in my little color switcher, which is kind of gross, I need to clean it, but I just swirl it. And then when I put it back in my drawer, it's not getting all my other makeup products gross and it's a little bit cleaner. So now I go in with setting spray. I've actually not used this very often. I always use the Urban Decay Nighter Spray, but I heard lots of good things about this one. And it's really nice because it does have like a little, like a little mist. So it's like really fine. You can just like do it all over and it just sets in really nicely. And I got like the limited edition spray. It smells so good. And I go in with mascara. I used to curl my lashes, but I got really scared about all my eyelashes falling out. So I stopped doing that. I don't really have a favorite mascara. I did for a while and it wouldn't come off very easily and I realized it was waterproof and I've been using the same mascara for like two years. But I do make sure to throw out my mascara three to four months after I open it. So I just use it one at a time and I change it frequently so I don't get any eye infections. So right now I'm using the Balm Mascara. I don't know. So my last step of my routine is a lip gloss. I don't really like wearing lipsticks and stuff because it always transfers and it's just a mess. So I use the Glossier Clear Lip Gloss. I actually bought this when I went to California last summer in the Glossier store and it was so cool. And that is it. Take out my hair. So this is the final look. It's very dewy kind of natural. You can still see some of my acne, but for the most part, it's covered up. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and feel free to catch up on any of my other videos.